So after tidying up the office, I went ahead and started working on vectorizing some new doodles in Adobe Illustrator. And in this little tutorial, I wanted to show you how to simply vectorize a black and white doodle. Later on, I'll share how to do a colored one, but for now, this one's a simple one. So you go up to object and you'll go down to rasterize and just press okay. And this takes a little bit sometimes. And then from here, you will press object again and then go to image trace, make and expand. And this is the part that typically takes a little bit longer than usual, but just be patient, it'll eventually work. All right, so here I'm just going to simply ungroup these objects or you can use the magic wand, but I wanna keep the white inside of each because I am going to end up filling each one with color using the eyedropper tool. And yeah, so it is fairly easy to vectorize a black and white doodle using Adobe Illustrator. And I would love to share in a later vlog how to do it using color. It is a little bit more intricate, but I'd say it's still pretty easy to follow. So here I'm just going to wrap it up by filling in some of these doodles. Uh, the chicken. Of course, you made that. Hey girls. Oh, oh, oh Bob. What's your favorite part? It caught me right whenever I was chewing. I kind of like the avocado dressing. It's because you made it, Alice. Okay, it's Thursday, it's launch day. I'm in the same shirt as yesterday and the day before, I think. This vlog is like super random. I know there are weekly vlogs and this honestly has been my week. It's been pretty low key. Uh, I did go, so let me backtrack. Whenever I have a launch day, I get very nervous. Well, obviously I don't want it to be a flop or I don't want something to go wrong. The first time I had a launch, my site crashed. Learned from that real quick. Yeah, I just get so nervous. I get excited. I get very, very excited whenever people, uh, obviously spread the word about it, but just seeing people's excitement just brings so much more excitement and just makes me so happy. But it also makes me just so like nervous and cause I just, I don't know. I know I, I set really high expectations, I guess, but it is launch day. I'm currently sitting at my computer just watching the analytics actually. I am so excited to share everything that is launching this month and this, this, and this year. And I have a feeling you guys are going to freak out. In my first vlog, I shared an unboxing and there was something in the box that I can't quite share yet, but I have a feeling I'll be able to share it in the next vlog. So not this vlog, but the next one because I'm taking pictures in it, hopefully, if the mass production comes in. But I had to get my mind off of this this morning because I was just like pacing and Justin's like, what are you doing? I went to Target to go pick up, I had to go get some coffee, we were out of coffee, and I picked up some other fun things. I was also out of face wash, so I figured I would do a little Target haul this weekend, so stay tuned for that. Okay, I'm done rambling and I'll, I will see you later. Okay, I'm trying to turn this off. I'm struggling. I, I'm a newbie, obviously. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know how. Time for another round of unboxing. I have an, oh, I have an audience with me because Justin's watching me and my mom came to drop off. She picked up my contacts for me, so that was nice. So we're gonna all see what's in the box together. She's dancing in the background, but doesn't want to be seen. I don't even know 
if I can show what's in it. Oh, it's my, it's my planner. Oh, I can show this. <laughs> it's a long sleeve oh, of the Love for Teaching. Cute. I can't show this yet. <laughs> okay, so I'm filming this like 30 minutes after I just unboxed the shirt and the planner. Justin left and my mom went home, so I'm here with the girls now and I'm speechless. My mom saw the planner and we looked through it and it was it was my first time seeing a physical copy of it and you guys, like I have chills right now, it's so surreal and my mom, my mom's, I don't know, my mom is my mom. She started crying and, but it was, she goes, when do I get it? When can we get them? And that is a great question. We are planning to launch the planner. The goal is April. So it will start in July and it will end in June. So y'all, it is so cute. Uh, I wish I could show you right now, but unfortunately I cannot just because there's some tweaks that have to be done and there were sticky notes like all over it with things to be fixed and whatnot. But since we are sitting, or I'm actually standing, since we're here right now, I figured I would share some recent Target purchases. And I think I went, I think it was yesterday. I'm pretty sure it was yesterday that I went, but I had to go in and grab some coffee and I also had to pick up some more of my face wash or my cleansing oil, which I will show you in this little haul, even though it's not really like, I got a few things, but I thought I would share because I really liked them and I feel like you guys would like everything too. I am obsessed with Target. But anyways, let me just show you everything that I recently got. I will link everything down in the description. So if you're interested in any of these things, you can find the direct link to those down below. So, okay, <laughs> let's get into this. So these are just random. I guess I can show you the coffee first. I really like this Good and Gather brand, and this one is an organic espresso blend. So Justin said he actually tried it this morning. I have not tried it yet, but he said it's really good. So excited to try that. I don't know coffee all that well, but if it tastes good, I like it. <laughs> I got this little yellow, little slouchy turtleneck. It was only $10, I wanna say. Yeah, it was only $10, and it's that brand, A New Day. My sister has it in like a, it's like a mauve tannish color. It's really pretty, I like it. But I got the yellow, I'm very excited about it. Next up, I got this cute little, I don't know if you can tell the color here. I'm actually wearing a cream color sweatshirt so you can kind of see the difference, but this one's like a really light pale blue and it's kind of got like a crop look to it. But I always size up in sweatshirts. This one is, I wanna say, I got a large in this one. I really like oversized fit sweatshirts. So, and I really liked the collar on this one. So I'm excited about this one. I've probably said excited like 20 times in this video. The excitement is real. I didn't just go in for coffee, but I had to go get some more of my face wash. So I used this cleansing oil from Olive and M. This is an indie brand and they're amazing. They're based out of Austin. The owner is amazing i had the opportunity to meet her and just chat with her she was so nice and yeah i love their products i used to struggle with acne so bad and now it's definitely cleared up a lot like right now i'm just wearing a powder which is another thing i can talk about later i really love the powder that i use uh I'm rambling now, but anyways, this brand is a great brand and my skin loves it. I cleanse my face with it at night. And they also have a really good serum and they have this really pretty like body oil that's like sparkly. I love it, love their products. And there's a scrub that I really like. I just, I just love this brand. They're amazing. I also got some new candles. I don't know if you can see this. This candle smells so good. It smells like springtime. And then I did get the other one and it's burning right now. It's the eucalyptus, rosemary, and geranium. It's burning right now and it smells so good. It is just a day filled of unboxing because the girls, <laughs> are y'all excited? 
the girls got their bark box. So we are going to open this. Well, I'm gonna help them a little bit. But then <sighs> I know. And then they are going to open it. Are y'all excited? Here you go. Are you excited? OMG. I had to help you a little bit. Okay, let's see what y'all got in the box. Come here, uh-uh, Daisy. She just took off one of the treats. Hey, you can't have that yet. That's for y'all to share. That's to share. Come on. So, let's try this again. Do you wanna show them what you got? Okay, so they got this little, <laughs> okay. Well, I'll try this one. So they got this little, <laughs> well, they got these little Baba biscuits. Those are fun. So those are cute. Daisy always likes the treats. And then here we got some beef crunchies. So we got some crunchy treats this time. Can I show them your toy? I think Cookie wants to show, let's see. Daisy. There's always like a new little chew bar. They usually they usually split the chew bars, right Daisy? I'll give them a treat in just a minute. So Cookie, what did y'all get? So they have a little, looks like a little aloe vera plant. Um, can I at least take the tag off? Goodness. Okay, got that one. And then this guy, oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's a little lamb with a towel. How adorable. Here, Daisy. Daisy's, are you being a little cam shy? Okay, you're not going away. No, you're not going too far with that. 